Try to imagine packing up all of your possessions, putting them together with your family in a wagon, and traveling hundreds of miles to an unfamiliar wilderness. This was the experience of many settlers coming to Orange County in the 1740s. When they arrived, they found a strange collection of new plants and trees. Many didn't know which ones were edible, which ones could be used for medicines, and which ones were poisonous. Here at the North Carolina Botanical Garden, many of these native species are on display. In the 1740s, Mark Morgan was the first European to settle the land which became the North Carolina Botanical Garden. Here, he found unknown plants and soon discovered how to use them in the same ways as the Native Americans who lived here before him. Plants like the pale Indian plantain, which could be used as poultices for cuts and bruises, the green head cone flower, which could be eaten or used as a dye. Besides an impressive collection of native plants, the botanical garden hosts a cabin used in the 1940s by renowned southern author and dramatist Paul Green. Green went to great lengths to record traditional plant uses of local people to assure authenticity in his works. Several thousand species of native plants grow in the park. Some of the most amazing are the collection of carnivorous plants, such as the Oki Finoki hooded pitcher plant. Along the garden's scenic trails, visitors can explore an herb garden, seasonal exhibits, and experience some of North Carolina's most unique landscapes. From the first Native Americans, to the early settlers, to author Paul Green. Each one has forged an important relationship with the plants around them. Here at the North Carolina Botanical Garden, they've preserved a number of these native species, which allow you, the modern visitor, to forge your own relationship with nature and history.